Hi, this is Doug and Cindy. Welcome to Help Me Help Mama 5 cast. Glad you joined in today. Today we're outside. It is so beautiful outside. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. And uh, we're just taking a minute to answer uh, a couple of caregiver questions. The first one is how to continue to provide good care for an adult disabled child as I age. This is not that unusual of a question, is it? Not at all. Not at all. You you have a disabled child and they are aging. You're caring for them at home. And at the same time, you're aging. So you're starting to slow down. You're starting to notice issues that you have, but your concern is caring for your adult disabled child. How do you continue to do that? You know, a lot of people that's, they've, uh, we've seen people that have had adult disabled children at home with them for, for years. 30 years, 40 years, even 50 years. Yes. And uh, that's just the family unit. And uh, yeah, it's it's worked all of these years. But now mom or dad's get mom and dad maybe is getting older and they think, you know, what if something happens to me? What uh, what's going to happen to her child? And they don't they don't want anything bad to happen. And maybe there's other siblings, but maybe they live out of state and they're not available. So uh, just real quickly, going to mention a couple of things. Uh, uh, number one, get with your elder law attorney, right? Right. <laughs> if they do planning. Right. You'll need to set up a special needs trust for your adult disabled child, so that when you leave something from your estate to them. If they are on public benefits, it will not kick them off those benefits. Yeah, and you may want, it's always good if your uh, attorney and financial planner can like actually work together, talk to each other, play nice. <laughs> because, you know, sometimes uh, these types of trusts are funded with uh, financial products. Mm -hmm. Life insurance, for Life example. insurance. Mm -hmm. And, or sometimes they're like you said, they just money from the uh, from a trust or money from your estate goes over to that trust, special needs trust. Right. So we've mentioned special needs trust. We've mentioned life care plan. Guardianship. Guardianship. You may want to nominate a guardian like in your will or your mm -hmm. trust. And obviously you'd have to seek your attorney's assistance with that. A court is the one that eventually... Uh, names a guardian or appoints a guardian legally, but you can nominate them in your documents who you'd want to take care of your uh, child. Uh, if there's a special needs trust, another position you may want to talk to your attorney about is an advocate. What's an advocate? An advocate is someone who's going to speak up for your loved one, be their um, big brother in essence, um, to check and make sure that they have all of the programs that they're supposed to be on and they have good quality of life things that the trust can pay for. Yeah, now we need to really emphasize, I think, the life care plan because you are there caring for your adult disabled child, but when you're gone, you need to leave a written plan in place so that someone else will be able to follow that. Right, and if you've got a special needs trust, you may have an institution, a bank, or someone with a trust department as the trustee of that trust after you die, and you know, a banker, uh, a trust officer is not going to know your child. Mm -hmm. And so you need the advocate that Cindy's talking about, maybe uh, another one of your kids, a, a sibling, um, uh, maybe an aunt or uncle, cousin, mm -hmm. someone that's that knows your child, has known them for years, and that they, you know, your child may recognize them and trust them and feel good about uh, their presence, you know, them coming around. So if you're not there, basically it's just someone that can step in your shoes. You know, someone else like the the banker, the trustee would be managing the money maybe, but the advocate's making sure that your child continues to get the care that they need. Yes, and the quality of life things. Right. So again, if you have an adult disabled child and they're aging and you're aging, Make sure you have an estate plan in place that includes a special needs trust, appointment of a guardianship, and a life care plan for your loved one. And when you call around, check with your attorney to see not just everyone does special needs trust, so it needs to be an attorney that, that does that type of work. That's very important. So thank you for watching today. Appreciate, I'm getting some traffic early this morning. Appreciate, the, <laughs> appreciate you joining in today, and uh, we hope you go out and make it a good day today. Have a great week.
So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and click on that little notification bell to be notified the next time we do a video. And if you want to interact with us, check out the description below and leave us a comment and let us know what legal or caregiver topics you'd like to hear about.